Greetings, I'm Teak, and this is the show where I go over things that were of interest to me in the last week. Fortunately, I have a great many interests, so there's probably something for you here too. Pokemon Snap is coming to the Switch. The Pokemon Company held a mini presentation this week going over their upcoming products, which includes a very long-awaited sequel to the N64 photography game. It only took Nintendo eight years after the launch of the Wii U for them to remember that Pokemon Snap was a great game that would be perfect for a system that has built-in gyroscopic controls. Virtually no details about the game are shown, indicating that it's still very early in development, so don't expect this for a while. But hey, it's been 20 years since the first Pokemon Snap game, what's one more? There were other things announced too, mostly in the mobile realm. Pokemon Smile is a cute little app for teaching kids good dental hygiene habits. Pokemon Cafe Mix is some kind of mobile puzzle game about running a cafe. It's microtransaction bait, but the art style is cute. And Pokemon Go is still a thing. They've been adjusting the game for life in a pandemic world, but updates are still on the way. The next big thing is that the Mega Evolution mechanic is apparently coming to the game in some kind of form or another. And for the main series game, the first expansion for Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Island of Armor, also launched this week. Also in the gaming world, EA took their turn this week at a not E3 presentation, most notably with the announcement of Star Wars Squadron. The new Star Wars piloting game will have you playing as both Rebel and Imperial pilots going through a story campaign that takes place in the aftermath of Return of the Jedi. Along with the story mode, there will also be multiplayer, letting you customize your pilot and ship for 5v5 battles. But there's more than just Star Wars coming up. Apex Legends, going into its fourth season, is coming to Steam and the Switch. There will be crossplay, so you don't have to worry about which platform you're getting killed by a player with a keyboard and mouse on. It Takes Two is a new co-op game centered around the imagination of a kid whose parents are getting a divorce. Lost in Random is about a little girl that befriends a sentient die as she explores a creepy world that is literally random. And Rocket Arena is a neat looking competitive game that focuses exclusively on characters that shoot rockets. Finally, bad news for Cyberpunk fans. CD Projekt Red announced this week that Cyberpunk 2020 has been delayed again. Originally scheduled for release last April, the game was delayed until September 17th, but it seems that even that wasn't enough time to get all the polishing done. CD Projekt Red is pushing the release date back another two months to November 19th. The delay won't affect next week's Night City Wire presentation though, so at the very least check back in to see what we can anticipate in another five months. Rolling over into new releases, coming to HBO this week is Perry Mason, a reboot of the classic legal drama character. And on HBO Max, Adventure Time Distant Land starts this week. I've never really understood what this franchise is about, but I do know that this is noteworthy. Also hitting HBO Max and DC Universe, Doom Patrol Season 2 brings back the best thing DC has done with their streaming service. And over on CBS All Access, Jordan Peele's reboot of The Twilight Zone is coming back for its own second season. Heading into video games, coming out this week on Steam is Azure Striker Gunvolt 2. The Mega Man-ish 2D platform shooter franchise is back with a full-fledged sequel if you need some flashy retro action in your life. Likewise, Ten Guy is another bullet hell shooter, but for some reason you control flying ninjas rather than planes or spaceships, which, you know, why not? For something a little more simplistic, there's Snake. It's Snake. Everybody loves Snake, or maybe they don't, but if you do, you're Snake. And finally on Steam, while not new, Warner Bros. is giving away Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition for the next couple days, so if you don't have it, you may as well pick it up. Meanwhile, over at the Epic Game Store, this week's free game is Pathway, a cool little title that looks kind of like if Oregon Trail had turn-based strategy combat. And coming out this week on the Switch is Duke Nukem 3D 20th Anniversary World Tour, which originally came out in 2016, so kind of the 24th Anniversary World Tour? That leaves us with this week's awesome video, Blue is back with a rundown of one of the most influential yet undocumented history makers the world has ever used to know. We've got okay documentation on roughly a dozen of these, but for reasons including and not limited to arson, a lot of our sources and all the scholars conspicuously stopped existing after the Qin unification. So although Chinese history is famous for keeping star charts that can pinpoint events down to the year, we're left with painfully few primary sources about the hundred schools or the works that they produced. 
that's it for this week. So, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and maybe give me a like if you think I deserved it. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great week.